Welcome, this is uh, easy3dbiz.com, and I'd like to share with you today uh, the research results of the zero point energy battery that we've been researching for basically the last few months of last year. Now, what I purposely have done here is I've um, left these uh, prototypes here that I had, I've left them outdoors for over a year now. And these three prototypes here that you can see. These guys here use a solid magnesium core, and you'll see the formula on the web page, but this is a solid magnesium core which I've left exposed to the elements. Now uh, this one I've wrapped uh, in liquid electrical tape, and um, these guys I've left exposed. So as you can see, it's um, corroded a little bit uh, around the edges, around the inside a little bit. This one here, um, as you can see, it's corrosion. It's like a crusty, uh, hard caked feeling. So let's hook it up to the voltmeter and see what we get. And remember, these haven't been um, used or anything, they've just been in storage for over a year now. So, what we're doing now is we're hooking up this fella here. This is the solid magnesium core. And if we take a look at the voltmeter, uh, we're pulling out about 1.14, 1.5 volts. I'll change it around because I got it on the negative connection. Go ahead and change it around again. Let me get a right connection. There we go. So pulling in uh, 1.17 volts, which is just over one volt. And if I move it around a little bit, that's normal for it to fluctuate as I move it around. So that's not too bad. It's been in storage for over a year. It's been outdoors, left it exposed to the elements. She's still pulling out 1.17 volts, which is pretty good. I'll go ahead and put that one away. This is the one that was wrapped in black electrical tape, by the way. And um, as you can see, it's not really uh, corroded or anything. I haven't taken the black electrical tape off, but it doesn't really seem to matter. Um, this is another one. I got the copper on the outside. I didn't seal it with electrical tape. Let's hook up the voltmeter to see what we get. Okay, I like to make sure it's not negatively hooked up. It doesn't really matter, but it just makes things a little more scientifically um, correct. Now with this one, we're pulling out just under half a volt, 0 0.30, and um, point, uh, almost 0 0.40 volts. It gradually increases the longer you leave it on there. It's normal for the energy. I didn't short these out. As you know, when you short the batteries out, the voltage increases even more. These have just been sitting for the whole year. Now, the reason you might ask, why is there more voltage coming out of this one, electrical tape, rather than this one? Well, that's uh, very simple. It's because the black electrical tape is creating, it's crushing, it's creating a piezoelectric effect. And when you, um, when the black electrical tape dries, it compresses and it creates a piezoelectric effect. And so by doing that, we're gaining about another half volt compared to the ones that are not sealed. This is batch 104. And this is just uh, simply another one. It hasn't got the black electrical tape on there. Um, it's basically the same format, solid magnesium core. Crusty on the outside, exposed to the elements for a year. Let's hook it up and see what we get. This one's uh, 1.29 volts, so substantially more voltage. Um, once again, this one does not have black electrical tape on there, so I assume because. Um, We've got the tape wrapped around this. It's creating, once again, a compression effect, and it's compressing it, and it's creating more voltage. As you can see with this one here we tested earlier, it doesn't have a lot of tape around it, so we're not getting the compression effect or the piezoelectric effect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move to another video because my um, phone is running out of time, plus YouTube only gives me about five minutes. So I'll put the part two video coming up in a second. You can forward that, and it will be linked under, under, underneath. Thank you.